Good evening, and welcome to Queens Hall Community College. Today's second game of our women's and men's doubleheader is between the Ulster Community College Senators and your very own Queensboro Community College Tigers. The National Junior College Athletic Association Region 15 in Queensboro promote good sportsmanship by student athletes, coaches, and spectators. We request your cooperation by supporting the participants and officials in a positive manner. Negative comments, profanity, racist, sexist, or other abusive comments or actions directed at officials, Student athletes, coaches, or team representatives will not be tolerated and are grounds for the removal from the facility. Queensboro thanks you for your support and your cooperation. And now the starting lineup for the Ulster Community College Senators. Number 14, Chris Austin. Number 23, Gene Markell. Number 35, Kyle Benjamin. Number 11, Remy Migna. And number five, Babakar Bob. The head coach of the Senators is Harold Rafford, Jr. And now the starting lineup, the very own Queensboro Community College Tigers. From Queens Academy, number 32, Henry Birch. From Jamaica High School, number two, Vincent Georges. From Providence High School, North Carolina, number 11, Jason Lawrence. From Harriet Truman High School, number 25, Davin Miner. From Elma Memorial High School, number one, Alan Smith. The assistant coaches for the Tigers, Kamal Steele, Jamie Broadwater, Marvin Patterson. Your head coach is Larry Dantzler. Part two of the doubleheader about to begin. Queensboro Tigers against the Ulster County Community College Senators. Queensboro is 4-12, and 12, Ulster County is 6-8. and eight. These teams met on December 10th, Ulster 195-81. Queensboro looks to get revenge, but they'll have to do it without Taquan Washington. He left the last game they played in with two technical fouls and is ineligible for today's game. One player to look out for, that I'll point out ahead of time, is number 14 on Ulster in the blue, Christopher Austin. Number 14, he's averaging 22.4 points per game. Also has 9.2 assists per game. Also goes along with 3.6 rebounds and 3.8 steals per game. Earlier this season, he was named Player of the Week for Region 15. In a three-game span, he had 94 points and 31 assists. And I caught an interview with him, and he was saying all the right things, saying it's great teamwork, his teammates believe in him, the coach believes in him. Vincent Georges is the star of the five. Davin Miner will jump, number 25 for Queensboro. Five starters for the Tigers, Alan Smith, Vincent Georges, Jason Lawrence, Davin Miner, and Henry Birch. Tap one by Kyle Benjamin. Remington Mignet with it, with the orange shoes, the orange sneakers. Mignot, tough one, rebounded by Miner. Henry Birch with it. Remember, Taquan Washington is usually the point guard. Birch. Alan Smith, number one. Remember earlier in the season he was wearing number 30. Now Ronald Merriweather where it's number 30. Smith down to seven on the shot clock. Birch, no foul is called. I don't know how that's possible. It's either got to be a charge or a blocking foul. Got to be something. Good mall movement. Fast paced first minute. Fade away. Nice play by Remington Mignot. First two points of the game with the putback. Mignot is averaging 13 and a half points per game. Two nothing Ulster. Alan Smith. Good defense being played. Larry Dantzler nearly at half court. 
Never see him out that far. Birch. Now to Smith. Birch. Rebounded. Last touch by Ulster. Queensboro will keep it. Eighteen twenty-one to go in the first half. Two nothing Ulster. Smith inbounding. Jason Lawrence to Smith. It's a two. It's good. Allen Smith ties the game. Two two. Chris Austin with it, number 14. And a foul is called. Two shot foul. Foul is on Henry Birch, his first. Chris Austin is at the line. Misses the first free throw. Larry Dantzler and assistant coach Marvin Patterson giving the team instructions on boxing out. Friendly roll, Austin with his first point. The Senators lead 3-2, two minutes in. Alan Smith. Smith, nice pass to Vincent Georges. Loose ball, and a foul is called. And that foul. That foul is on Chris Austin, excuse me, of the Senators. Yes, sir. Nice block by Kyle Benjamin. It looked like Miner had a layup and Benjamin came out of nowhere. And then Remy Mignot lays it in. Mignot with four points. Senators lead 5-2, two and a half minutes in. Alan Smith. Birch to Georges. Larry Dantzler calls timeout. Two minutes, 41 seconds in. Senators lead 5-2. Doesn't like what he sees offensively. Just told his players they look like they saw a ghost. Susser telling Alan Smith he's got to call out the plays. Marvin Patterson talking to Alan Smith, lecturing him in front of the bench. Very animated Marvin Patterson. Patterson, a good addition to the Queensboro coaching staff. Last year was at Hostos. Smith, really great team defense being played early on, and that'll be a tie-up. Queensboro will keep it with six on the shot clock. Smith, looking to get it in. Minor is fouled. Foul is on Kyle Benjamin, his first. Davin Miner at the free throw line. Couldn't hit the first one. Miner splits the free throws. That was his first point. It's now 5-3 Senators. Three minutes in. Remington Mignot makes his move on Vincent Georges. 
tight defense. Queensboro will get it back. Foul is on Mignet, his first. Third team foul on the Senators. Alan Smith, now Birch has it. Birch, that's gotta be a charge, and it's called. That's the second foul on Henry Birch. Senators should attack Birch here. Chris Austin, they should attack Birch and have him pick up his third team foul before they can check him out. Austin, rebounded by Miner. Nice defense played by Mignot, just took it away. And then Remington Mignot hits six of the seven, seven Six of the seven Senator points have been scored by Remy Mignet. 7-3, Senators. Jason Lawrence. Queensboro looking a little tentative and a steal. And a foul is called on Minor. Larry Dantzler giving a little lesson to Jason Lawrence. Anthony Saldariagu coming in for Henry Birch. Bubakar Ba inbounding. Miner is on him. Chris Austin with it. Kyle Benjamin to Mignot. Got it away. Good ball movement. Couldn't finish though. Mignot with it. Chris Austin, they reset wisely. Kyle Benjamin to Mignot for three. Rebounded by Lawrence. Anthony Saldariaga with it. Alan Smith. Smith, floater. Senators will have it. Senators leading 7-3. Underneath, Queensboro pushing. Vincent George is with it. Pull up, it's a two, long two. Rebounded by Ulster. Kyle Benjamin ahead of the pack. And Benjamin with the dunk. Kyle Benjamin's first points of the game. Ulster now leads 9-3. Three points in the first five minutes and 20 seconds for Queensboro. Trying to get something started. Tipped, Vincent Georges. Miner there with the putback. Nice play by Devin Miner who now has three points. 9-5, Ulster. Remington Mignut calls out the play. Chris Austin with it now, guarded by Smith. Austin, down to 17 on the shot clock. Austin, Austin throws up a wild one, and a foul is called. They'll be on Davin Minor. And that's the second foul on Davin Minor. Ojugbali, number 23, is in. Minor is out with two fouls. Benjamin misses them both. Saldariaga, Jason Lawrence. Alan Smith has it. 
coaching staff tells him to pull it out. Smith. Turn around jumper. Vincent George is with the rebound. And a steal, Chris Austin with the nice play. And Austin finishes at the other end. Chris Austin with three points. And Ulster leads 11-5. Remington Mignot has outscored Queensboro by himself, 6-5. Saul Dariaga, the point guard from Newtown High School. Where he played for Pat Torney. Vincent Georges, out of bounds to Ulster. Queensboro with five points in the first seven minutes. And Ronald Merriweather is called off the bench by Larry Dantzler. Merriweather is in, Vincent Georges will come out. Mignot being guarded by Ojugbele. Chris Austin guarded by Smith being hounded. Austin throws up a wild one. Tipped, rebounded by Ulster. Bubakar Ba. Saved in, Lawrence had to go off his hands and then traveling is called. Got a little too ahead of himself. Now Georges is back in and Merriweather is back out. Mignot, nice touch by Mignot, now has eight points. 13-5, Ulster leads. Seven and a half minutes in, Saul de Riaga being guarded by Jean Marshall. Saul de Riaga passes to Ojugbele. Ojugbele, double comes over, Saul de Riaga, shot was altered, Benjamin comes down with it, pushes to Austin, Austin, nice pass by Austin, shot is missed by Georges, Alan Smith, very fast paced game. Nice pass by Smith, Saul de Riaga, Back to Smith, 17 on the shot clock. Ojugbele. And traveling is called. 11.35 to go in the first, 13-5. Senators lead the Tigers. Mignot, being guarded by Georges. Now Chris Austin. Austin looking to make a move. Austin dribbling. Five second violation. Alan Smith walks it up across half court. Saldariaga, Saldariaga, couldn't finish. Mignot, Chris Austin in the corner. It's a three, rebounded by Saldariaga. And then a turnover, and a layup by Gene Marshall. Saldariaga never saw him. It's 15-5, Ulster. 10-38 and counting remaining in the first. Ojugbele is fouled. Go, go, Anthony. Anthony Saldariaga called over by Larry Dantzler. A little meeting with the point guards. It's almost like a timeout. You have Larry and Marvin talking to two of the players. First free throw is good. Ojugbele's first point of the game. So Marvin Patterson talks to Saul Dariaga. Ojugbele sinks them both. It's now 15-7, Ulster. 
Mignot with it. Guarded by Vincent Georges. Put back is good. It was Remington Mignot, now with 10 points. 17-7, Ulster leads. Saldariaga. Ojugbali with it. Forced a shot, but Jason Lawrence has it. Alan Smith for three. It's good. Alan Smith now with five points. 17-10, Ulster. 9.45 to go. Remy Mignot. Alan Smith, good ball denial. Now Chris Austin has it. Bounce pass to Kyle Benjamin. Benjamin in the post, into the lane. Nice pass. Nice pass, and Bubakar Ba has his first points of the game. It's now 19-10, Ulster. Nine minutes and 20 seconds remain in the first. Saul Dariago with it. Saul Dariago. Kick out to Smith for three. Get up, OJ! Get up, OJ! Out of bounds. It'll stay with Queensboro. Alan Smith has it. And a charge is called. First foul on number one, Alan Smith. Chris Austin pushing it. And a foul is called. First foul on Anthony Saldariaga. One more foul and Ulster will be shooting free throws. Austin will inbound. Merriweather guarding the inbound. Bubakar Ba. Mignot thought about shooting a three. Nice ball movement. Nice block from behind. Saldariaga. Alan Smith. Smith with it. Throw up a wild one. Chris Austin pushes it. Mignot now. And a foul is called. Looked like a clean block, but a foul is called. Still gets the crowd in the bench into it. Foul is on Jason Lawrence. Looked like Remy Mignot was going to posterize him, but that shot was sent away. Mignot now with 11 points by my count. It's 20 to 10, Ulster. Mignot now with a dozen. 21-10. 8.23 to go. Saw Riago with it. Smith. Merriweather. Couldn't hit. Got his own rebound. Foul is called underneath. That's the first foul on Gene Martial. And Merriweather is at the line for two. Misses the first. As Marvin Patterson has a word with Alan Smith and Anthony Saldariaga. Splits the free throws. That's Murray Weather's first point of the game. And now it's 21-11. 
Chris Austin with it. Austin being guarded by Smith. Mignot with it. Good defense being played. Chris Austin with it now. Down to five, down to four, three, Mignot. Rebounded by Smith, Saldariaga pushes. Merriweather hits. It's now 21-13, Ulster. 7.25 and counting remaining in the first half. And a 30 second timeout is called by Ulster. 21-13, but Remy Mignot has 12 points. Remy Mignot has 12 for, to lead Ulster. Allen Smith leads Queensboro with five. 7.23 remaining in the first. Ba inbounding. And then Saldariaga fouls him. Larry Dansler talking to Saldariaga. Austin was clapping that he got the call. Saldariaga didn't seem too happy about that. Austin hits the first free throw. Maybe watch Saldariaga and Austin up and down the court. That's the second foul on Saldariaga. Austin hits them both. He now has five points and Ulster has a 23-13 lead. Saldariaga is fouled. Saldariaga misses the first. Traveling is called. 7.06 to go. Queensboro will inbound. Ref talking at the scorer's table. Having a little word with the score keepers. Not sure what this is all about. So they'll just go over to their respective benches. Might be a discrepancy in the books. Gives the coaches a free timeout.
Three refs talking to each other. Damien Broadwater, the scorekeeper for Queensboro, he had 21 points for Ulster. It is 23, though. Nice play by, but, well, Ojugbali, really, that was a nice play. Can't take anything away from that, but Ojugbali couldn't finish. Rebounded by Georgia. Alan Smith. Smith pushes it. It's got to be a foul, and it's called. <laughs> Mary Weather hits the free throw. Merriweather now with four points. Now has five and it's 23-15. Ulster lead, 6.29 to go. Austin being guarded by Smith. Good passing, Bubakar Ba. Couldn't hit, but then it's tipped in by Gene Martial. Smith. And a steal. And they got away with the travel, but then a steal. Great transition defense, so Jugbali. And then travel. Excuse me, a charge is called. A charge. It's on Ojugbali. First foul on Ojugbali. Senators with it. And that's got to be a charge. And it is. 5.36 to go, Senators up 25-15. Ball hit Ojugbali in the head, wasn't expecting the ref to give it to him. Smith couldn't hit Lawrence with the rebound. Off glass, it's good. Jason Lawrence with his first points of the game, and now it's 25-17. Five minutes, 10 seconds left. First half, Chris Austin being guarded by Smith. Smith has done a good job on him. Austin, Lawrence rebounds. Alan Smith now being guarded by Austin, and that's gotta be a charge. He pushed off, but all the coaches are off the bench. None of them agree. Well, I said none of them agree. I think they may have just been a little frustrated with Smith. I take that back. It was definitely a charge. None of them could believe he just pushed off like that. Second foul on Alan Smith. Chris Austin. Nice play. That was a good pass by Austin. Kyle Benjamin with it. Austin.
17 on the shot clock. Tipped. Down to 12 on the shot clock. Really good team defense being played. Now they have to finish. Down to five. Down to four. Bubakar Boss got to put it up. 35 second violation. Queensboro will get it back. 419 to play. Ulster leading 25-17. And Remington Mignot is back in for the Senators. Ojugbuli to Lawrence. Lawrence, a short shot. It's off, tipped. Blocked, tipped. Senators have it. Chris Austin. Remington Mignot is fouled and hits. And a technical foul on the Queensboro bench. It's Marvin Patterson. Foul is on Anthony Brown. So let's sort this all out. Mignud hit a layup. We'll go to the line for one. Larry Dantzler talking to the ref. Marvin was going, when are you going to call that foul at the other end? Chris Austin hits the first free throw of the technical foul. Now after the second free throw, Mignud will try to finish a three-point play. Austin takes advantage. Mignit still has to finish the three-point play. Now they don't know who took the free throw. It was Mignot who hit the layup. The Queensboro coaching staff is saying he didn't hit it, but he did. I don't know. This is this is bizarre. Now Mignot is saying, thanks for letting me shoot the free throw that I told you I hit the layup five minutes ago. So after all of that, he hits the free throw. All that commotion just to see him hit one free throw. Now it's 30-17, Senators. 3.48 to go after that event, that circus. Senators, out of bounds, it'll go to Queensboro with 3.42 to go. It's easy to tell Mignet hit that layup because how many of these players are wearing orange sneakers. Lawrence, nice moves by Lawrence, but he couldn't finish. And it's rebounded by Benjamin. Gene Marshall, Bubakar Ba, hits. It's a two-pointer for Bubakar Ba. Now has four points. Ulster now leads 32-17. Anthony Brown, now handling the point guard duties. Jason Lawrence. Queensboro will keep it. Larry Dantzler calling in a sub. Anthony Saldariaga. Brown is out. Larry Dantzler wondering who called timeout. It's charged to Queensboro. Now he's asking Ojugbele why in the world he called timeout. Larry wants to be the one to call the timeout. So one of his players called it and he didn't know. With 3.09 to go in the first half, Ulster leads 32-17. Wild first half, even if it's not necessarily on the court. Guess the word to sum it all up would be bizarre. It's more of that than frustrating or angry. 
Although it is those things too. I mean, that shouldn't be the hard part, you know. Who calls timeouts? Well, Larry, Coach Stansler is the one who calls timeouts. To go back to technical on Marvin, who's a very fine coach, but you know referees, they'll take a bit of heat from the head coach, but once the assistants get up to do their yelling, and Marvin didn't even get up, he was sitting down and yelling at the refs, but they don't want to hear anything from an assistant. Remember Orlando, you know, Patrick Ewing is an assistant coach, he got a technical. As George just couldn't finish, but Merriweather is there. Merriweather is good off the bench, seven points. 32-19, Ulster leads. Two minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Chris Austin with Saldariaga on him. Austin from downtown, and it's good. Chris Austin now with 10 points. 35-19, Ulster. Ojugli holding it. Georges, two minutes, 20 seconds remain in the first. Merriweather. Tipped, Georges, underneath, and it's good off the glass. Vincent Georges has his first points of the game, and it's now 35-21. Two minutes, two seconds, and counting, remaining. No basket, traveling, no shot attempt, I should say. Wouldn't have counted if it went. 1.59 to go in the first half. Anthony Saldariaga. Saldariago with it. Makes his move, baseline. Couldn't finish, rebounded by Kyle Benjamin. And the Tigers come up with it. No basket, they call a tie up. They say he was tied up before the basket went in. Marvin Patterson still doing a little yapping, but he's gotta be careful. I mean, he's absolutely right. That should have been two points for Queensboro. Austin walks it up. 90 seconds to go in the first half. I don't agree with that call, though. Mignot. Tigers with it. Saldariaga really pushing it. Gene Marshall is called for the foul. Hey, we in it still. First line is on the line. That's his third. Miss it on the line. Anthony on the left side. Saldariaga hits the first free throw. Saldariaga hits them both. His first points of the game. It's now 35-23. 70 seconds to go. Larry Dantzler animated. Austin hits a three. Chris Austin now with 13 points. It's 38-23 with now under a minute to play in the first half. Saldariaga. A legal screen is called. And I thought that was a good call. First foul on Merriweather, but I thought that was, I saw it from here. 55 and 8, 10 seconds remaining in the first. Mignot. And a charge is called. Saldariaga, Saldariaga picks up the charge. Mignot called for the foul. That's the third on Mignut. 45 and 7, 10 seconds to go. Saldariaga. Ojugbali. Ojugbali with some nice moves and hits off the glass. 
OJ now at four points. It's 38-25. Ulster can hold for the final shot of the half if they choose to. Austin for three. Loose ball, Queensborough comes up with it. That wasn't a very good shot. And they force it. Queensboro will keep it. 12 seconds remaining in the first half. I believe they plan on holding for the final shot of the half. Merriweather. Saldariaga wasn't expecting it. Out of bounds, uh, I don't know why Austin did that. Should've just let it go out of bounds and they would've gotten a shot off. They let Saldariaga touch it and they would've gotten a shot off. Queensborough got away with one there. Four and eight, 10 seconds remaining. Ojugbali, Saldariaga, pull up three. Way off. And at the end of one very bizarre half, Ulster leads 38-25. Second half about to begin. Ulster leading Queensboro 38-25. Remington Mignot leading the Senators with 15. Chris Austin with 13 of his own. Queensboro will have the ball to begin the second half. Henry Birch is inbounding. Alan Smith, out of bounds. Larry Dantzler, nine seconds into the half, we'll have a word with the ref. Three-pointer, rebounded by Mignett. Remington Mignett. Martial had to go through his hands. Out of bounds, Queensboro will have it. Bench is getting into it. Remember earlier in the season, Queensboro came back from 16 points down to win in overtime. That was against Bergen. Birch. Jason Lawrence. Georges threw one up. Loose ball on the floor. It's like a fumble in football. Tie-up is called. It's like a rugby scrum. Senators will have it. After all of that. Magnet. Chris Austin brings it up. Magnet. Doing a little half-court pressing. And Marshall is left all alone. Marshall now has six points. It's 40-25, Ulster. Under 19 minutes to play. Georges couldn't hit. And a foul is called. That will be on Henry Birch. It's on Birch, I believe it is. That's his third. Sub comes in, it's Kamal Green, number 20 for Queensboro. But there are six Tigers in, and Vincent Georges will come out. Out of bounds, it'll stay with Ulster. Larry Dantzler calls out the defense. Ulster 
Austin inbounding. Kyle Benjamin back to Austin. Nice bounce pass to Magnet who takes it out. Nice pass, Benjamin, turn around, it's good. Kyle Benjamin. It's now 42-25, under 18 and a half minutes to play. Smith, foul is called, that basket won't count. Foul is on Chris Austin, that's number three on Austin. The one issue for Ulster, they are in foul trouble if you consider three foul trouble. Smith, floater, a little too soft. And Benjamin, and a foul is called, that'll be on Alan Smith. So the foul was on Ojugbali, his second. Chris Austin. Austin doubled, gets around them both. Nice dribbling and Austin is fouled. Forty-two twenty-five, eighteen oh seven to go. Chris Austin is at the line. Misses the first. Austin second free throw is good. Austin now with 14 points, it's 43-25. 18 minutes now, 17.59 and counting to play. Smith. A little too much dribbling, Smith. Can get the home court roll. And Queensboro keeps it, Jason Lawrence from the free throw line. Rebounded by Ba. Chris Austin pushes. Austin to pull up three, it's good. Christopher Austin now with 17 points and Larry Dantzler calls timeout. With 17.29 to go, Queensboro trails 46.25. It's a full timeout taken by Coach Dantzler. Chris Austin now leads the Senators with 17 points. Mignet has 15. And time is running out. Under 17 and a half minutes to play down by 21. They're gonna need quite the rally now. And Larry's pointing out that they're not rebounding. Gamal and Marvin also giving some advice. They need something right now. Seem a little lifeless right now. Queensboro will have it. Smith. Kamal Green, Green off glass. Lawrence, the putback is good. Jason Lawrence now has four points. It's 46-27. Kyle Benjamin. Austin. Three-pointer from Mignet. Rebounded by the Tigers. Birch to Alan Smith. Lawrence, turn around. May have been tipped. Magnet pushes it. Nice bounce pass. Good off glass, I believe it's Gene Marshall, who now has eight points. 
48-27, Ulster leads. 16 and a half to play. Alan Smith hits, he now has seven points. 48-29, 16-15 to play. Austin, Birch is on him. Tigers in a 2-3 zone defense. Mignet, Kyle Benjamin, Bubakar Ba, rebounded by Green, gets it to Smith. Smith. Smith makes his move. Davin Miner, Lil Long. Mignot. Threw it away. Jason Lawrence and the steal from behind. But it's safe to Henry Birch of Queensboro who misses. Miner with it now. Miner underneath is fouled and he'll go to the line. Miner hits the first free throw. Free throws will help the Tigers get back into it, take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Miner makes them both. He now has five points. It's 48-31, Senators. 15 minutes, 25 seconds to go and counting. Kyle Benjamin. That three-pointer was missed by Austin. Alan Smith pushes. Smith holds it. Merriweather puts up a wild one. And Merriweather now has nine points. It's 48-33, under 15 minutes to play. Austin. Kyle Benjamin misses, rebounded by Miner. Smith, now it's Birch. Birch. And a foul is called. It's on Davin Miner. That will be number three. Remy Mignot with 15 points on the night. Shot clock is down to 23. Mignot, nice pass, no basket, traveling is called. Queensboro will have it with 14, 18 remaining. Smith. Smith. Three pointer, no good. Chris Austin pushing. Austin. And a charge is called on Austin. That's number four on Chris Austin. One more and he's done. And if you're Queensboro, you have to attack him right now. If you can get Chris Austin out of the game, well, they won't have that chance as Chris Austin comes to the bench now. Nicholas Gruccio is in, number 21, as Chris Austin heads to the bench. Alan Smith with it for Queensboro. Merriweather, off glass, too strong. Benjamin to Gruccio, who slips, and then a backward violation. Sloppy play by the Senators. 13.45 to go, 48-33 Senators.
as Charles Jansen is now in for the Senators. Short-lived stint by Ruccio, who comes in for about 10 seconds and commits a backcourt violation. Smith, it's good. Alan Smith with nine points. 48-35, 13-25 remaining. Marshall makes his move. Mignot for three. Missed, rebounded by Birch. Pushes it. Birch down to 25 on the shot clock. Good ball denial by Mignot. Birch, a long three, too strong. Rebounded by David Miner. Kamal Green, Green. And a charge is called. Kamal Green goes to the bench, show Jug Bully is back in. Bubakar Ba with it. And that was a three pointer by Jansen. And a foul is called against Ulster with 12.36 remaining. That foul was on Gene Martial. That's his fourth. Got to attack Martial here, number 23. One more and Martial is done. Queensborough should try to attack him before they can get a sub into the game. Bit of a wild shot. Rebounded by Martial. Martial pull up jumper and he's fouled by Merriweather. That's his second. That's a frustrating one because that was after the shot. That's the second one. Saul Riaga getting ready to go back into the game. So is number 44, Ryan Rahim. Marshall at the line. Misses the first one. See if he hits the second free throw if he comes out of the game. Plus your free throw shooter. If he makes his free throw, I think he'll head to the bench. Marshall misses them both. Maybe wanted some more playing time. Saldariaga. Smith. Saldariaga. Nice moves. Loose ball. Miner with it. Alan Smith pulls it out. Now he's a bit stuck. And Gamal Steele talks to Smith about the finer points of being a point guard. Charles Jansen inbounding, Mignot with it. Mignot. The shot is good from Adam McQueen. McQueen with his first two points of the game. Ulster leads 50-35. Now under 11 and a half to play. Saldariaga makes his move. Nice ball movement, three-pointer from OJ. Ojugbele couldn't hit, and it's rebounded by Jansen. McQueen. McQueen's shot is sent away. But Ulster will keep it. With 11.14 to go. Kyle Benjamin with it. Bubakar Ba. Mignot. Benjamin. Lost it, Saldariaga. He's got the two big guys in front of him. Alan Smith, no, Miner. 
Miner chases it down. Saldariaga being told to hold it by Coach Dantzler. Saldariaga. Tipped. Queensboro will have it. Coach is asking for a little more from their point guards. Wonder if Taquan Washington would make a difference right now. Foul is called on the floor. 10.38 to go. That foul is on Charles Jansen, his first. The luxury for the Senators is that they have guys in foul trouble, but it's not a close game where you might feel compelled to keep them in. It's at 15. So I think if it's down to seven or eight, you'll see them back in. Mignot can't believe he was called for the foul. He'll get his two cents in. And that's the fourth foul on him. And now a sub will come in. Nicholas Gruccio is in for Mignot. Larry Dantzler wanted to call it 32nd, but he only has full timeouts remaining, so we'll use one. 10.34 to go, 50-35, Ulster. Listen to me, listen! All you gotta do is just listen to me. Make them get settled down, make them get settled down. Make them get settled down. This is what makes you guard them down. Mignot, Austin, and Marshall all have four fouls for Ulster. That would be a big advantage for Queensboro if they could make this a tight game. Trying to get it in, they do so. Smith. None of the Ulster players with four fouls is in. Smith, now with 11 points. It's 50-37, 10-20 remaining. Get a charge! And Charles Jansen with his first points. 52-37. Now at the halfway mark of the second half. Saldariaga couldn't finish. Rebounded by Benjamin. Bodies on the floor. Benjamin pushes, but then it's stolen. Smith. Smith pushes it. Ojugbuli. And a foul is called against the Senators. It's number one on number 20, Adam McQueen. Friendly roll on the first free throw. Ojugwe now has five points. It's 50-30, it's 52-38, excuse me. Well, that's a shot you try and horse. It's 52-39. Come on, 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 Queensboro's not out of this game by any measure. Still nine and a half minutes to go. Okay. 
And the bright spot for Queensboro right now, if they want to say, where's there a chance to get back in the game? I mean, these guys, to be honest, on Ulster right now because of foul trouble, these are third stringers in right now. I mean, you're not getting Mignot and Austin and Marshall. Saldariago with it. There's definitely an opportunity for the Tigers to make a run. And he dribbles it off of his foot. Excuse me, it was last kicked by an Ulster player. Or was it? And Ulster will have it, 9.09 .09 to go. And Larry yelling, if the player has four fouls, attack him. And a turnover, Saldariaga. And a foul is called. Excuse me, they just say out of bounds or not sure what the call is to be honest. Ryan Raheem's shot is blocked. And now Queensboro has it. And after all of that, Queensboro comes away with two points. 52-41, 8.40 to go. Defense chance starts up from the Tiger bench. Chris Austin doubled. Bubakar Ba to Charles Jansen. Jansen shot, missed. And then Jansen is called for a foul, which he can't believe. It's almost like that's an unwritten rule for basketball players. If you're ever called for a foul, you have to make faces and complain about the call, no matter how obvious it may be. Mignot is back in the game with the orange sneakers. Mignot with 15 points. Well rested for the stretch run of this game. Davin Miner is at the line. Miner misses the first and that hurts. Gotta make your free throws at this point, at any point in the game really, but especially now. Mignot with it. Austin. Bubakar Ba with it. Mignot. Turnover. And then Ulster comes up with it. And Jansen. Ba. And a foul is called against Ulster with exactly eight minutes remaining. That's number three on Jansen. He hasn't even been in the game that long and he has three fouls. And more free throws for the Tigers. One in one situation. So he helps the Tigers try to take points off the lead without time coming off the clock. Ryan Raheem looking for his first points. Misses the first one and it's rebounded by Mignut. Under eight minutes to play. See if Ulster tries to run some time off the clock and a reach and foul on Saldariaga as Kamal Steel is on the court actually. Talking to Alan Smith and Saldariaga. It's good to have assistant coaches who are so into the game. Watch a lot of teams with like 25 assistant coaches and you wonder what half of them even do. Not Queensboro though. How many, how many you got? That was the third foul on Saldariaga. Mignet hits the first free throw. He now has 16. This free throw would give him 17, which would time for the team lead with Chris Austin. Ah, ah, 
Mignon hits them both. He has 17. 54-41. Tigers push. O OJ loses it. Up ahead, Austin. Tough angle. I mean, tie up is called. Anthony Brown, inbounds, and don't touch it yet. The clock doesn't start until you touch it. Brown to Smith, swings it to Ojugbali, to Smith, to Brown, Smith. Dribbles down to 20 on the shot clock. Anthony Brown for three. Rebounded by Mignet. It's not the shot Queensborough was looking for at that point. Holding it for a little while. Bit of a stall. Austin. Long shot rebounded by Benjamin. And that's frustrating. Austin to Marshall. Tipped. Anthony Brown is out. Number 12, Raphael Yusupov is in. So after an assortment of subs, the Queensboro Five is Raheem, Minor, Yusupov, Ojugbali, and Brown. Mignut to Benjamin. Martial to Mignut. 17 on the shot clock. Benjamin, Magnot, Marshall, Bubakar, Ba, Ba, couldn't hit. Minor with it. Yusupov to Brown. Brown being told to hold it. Brown. Ojugbali. Brown, Yusupov, and a turnover. Austin, Mignot with the putback. Mignot now at 19 points. It's gotta be the shoes, Brown. Anthony Brown, calling out the play. Ojugbali, Yusupov, Ryan Rahim. Turnaround jumper is good, his first points of the game. 56-43, five and a half minutes to go. Anthony Brown, who's playing defense. Austin, Mignot, Marshall, down to five, 18 to go. Austin for three. It's good, Austin now with 20 points. Could be a dagger. It's 59-43, 5.05 to go. Brown. Ojugbali. Ryan Rahim. Couldn't hit and it's rebounded by Benjamin. And now you wonder when they're gonna start full court pressing. Mignot. Marshall. Austin to Mignot. Behind the back pass to Benjamin. And a tie up is called. With 434 remaining. Ryan Rahim comes out. Anthony Brown comes out. Benjamin, it's good. Kyle Benjamin now with six points. It's 61-43. Yusupov for three. Out of bounds. It will go to the Senators.
Mignot. Bubakar Ba. I, I really don't understand. They only took six seconds there. I mean, why would you take a shot and only use six seconds of the shot clock? And then you foul at the other end. <laughs> Coach isn't very pleased for Ulster. So Bubakar Ba, who just took that shot, I think that might be the end of him for tonight. If you're up by 18 with less than four and a half minutes to go, wouldn't you rather run some time as Davin Miner hits the free throw? And Bubakar Ba, as expected, will go to the bench. Well, that's what happens when you take shots that make absolutely no sense. Miner trying to hit them both. Miner hits them both. Now with seven points at 61-45. Smith tried to get the foul call. Stepped on the line, Queensboro will get it. With 3.58 to go, 61-45, Ulster. And Ulster knows, you know, two or three mistakes and the team could get back into a game pretty fast. Yusupov for three, it's good! Raphael Yusupov. It's now 61-48, 3.47 to go. It's not over yet. Austin. Austin forces one up. Oh, Juggly. That hurts. You really, you want to finish there. That would have cut it to 11. And the coaching staff knows it. Ref at the scorer's table. Mignot hits the first free throw. Now has 20 points. Davin Miner has four fouls. Coaching staff telling him to play smart. They're gonna ride it out with him as Mignot hits both free throws. Now he takes back the team lead in points with 21. Hojugbali. Out of bounds. And Larry yells at Alan Smith. Everybody yelling at Alan Smith, actually. Three twenty to go. Fifteen point lead for the Senators. Mignot. Mignot and Austin. I'd be surprised if they even knew it, to be honest. I mean, you can't really keep track of points, but as Benjamin misses, Queensboro will have it with exactly three minutes to play, 63-48. And the way you gotta look at it, it's a five possession game. And beg my pardon, the Senators have it. See if they run some time off here. Austin throws it away. Ojugbali gives it to Alan Smith. Ojugbali. 5 3 pointers retire it. That's what you have to think. Counted and the foul. Davin Miner. Holster getting a little sloppy. It's definitely not a time to foul. And Marshall is back in the game with four fouls. 
Minor at the line. Minor's free throw, rims out. Mignot with it. Benjamin to Mignot. Marshall. That shot is missed. And a foul committed by Ulster. Queensborough is lucky to only be down by 13 right now considering all these quick shots the Senators are taking and the nonsensical fouls they're giving. And now Miner is at the line. It's a two shot foul. Miner misses the first. Miner hits the free throw. He now has 10 points. It's 63-51. 2 to go. Mignot to Benjamin. Mignot. Traveling is called. Queensboro coaches were asking for it. Two minutes, two seconds remain. Queensboro trailing 63-51. Smith has to push. You also could have thought about not giving it right to him instead of rolling it up the court because the clock doesn't start until you touch it. Yusupov for three. Air ball. Austin with it. Mignot with it. Benjamin. Good stalling by Ulster right now. Benjamin. And Ulster will keep it with 85 seconds remaining. That's when you have to come down with. Didn't get the sub in in time. Now they can run some more time off the clock. This could take them under a minute. 75 seconds remain. Mignot. Marshall to Mignot. Smart play by the Senators. Mignot, now under a minute to play. Eight on the shot clock. Down to six. Down to five. And a steal. Alan Smith. Smith shot his block. Lawrence puts it back. Jason Lawrence now with six points. 63-53, 42 seconds to go. Surprised they're not fouling or pressing. Austin. Queens Row coach is saying not to foul. They're saying go for the steal. And instead Smith fouls him. With 26 seconds to go. 63-53. Chris Austin at the line. He has 20 points. Make it 21. Mignot and Austin are tied to 21 points apiece. This free throw. Upcoming could decide the team leader in points. Austin hits it. He now has the team lead with 22 points. And the game high. Smith doesn't waste any time getting down. 
Alan Smith with 15 points. 65-55. Mignot. And a foul is committed with 14 seconds to go. Now Mignot's at the line. Looks like he may take back the game high lead. Misses the first. Austin came into this game averaging 22.4 points per game. It's par for the course, he has 22. Mignot hits the second free throw. Mignot and Austin both have 22. Smith, floater, short, tipped. Heading out of bounds, Tyler Jenkins. Austin chases it down, and that's it. This is QCC student David Russell. The final here, Ulster beats Queensboro 66-55.